friend Tom Dyson was supposed to be here today, a last minute production change meant he couldn't, he feels really bad about it, and we have a message. Yeah, so I'm, I'm your replacement, Tom. <laughs> so just, just picture me being taller, with longer hair, and then floppy arms. <laughs> But Tom actually just texted me and said, I've sent you an email to read to the panel. Don't look at it until you're on stage. <laughs> so I haven't seen this yet. Oh my god. You're gonna do it in the accent, right? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, here it goes. If it's vulgar, it's not my fault I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Dear sleepyheads. I wish I could have been there with you to watch that episode that we've all seen before. But alas, I had to remain in Atlanta for the weekend. <clears throat> I think we can all agree that the panel in front of you is all the more impressive without my hairy muck gurning at you. <laughs> and it's nice that it's made up entirely of women. <laughs> Although I agree Zach's reading of this letter is a little lackluster, <laughs> perhaps together we can spruce up his dead-eyed performance a bit. <clears throat> On the count of three, all shout, show us your pets, Zach. <laughs> One, two, three. Show us your pets, Zach! Come on, you can all do better than that. <laughs> One, two, three. Show us your pets, Zach! That's much better. <laughs> but God, I hope he didn't. <laughs> Again, I wish I could be there, but I think I've just earned a place in this year's pantomime season, so I'll see all of you down on Margate Pier. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, fight the good fight, comrades, and just look at those pets. <laughs> Lovings, Tom.